A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, draw your strength from the Lord and from his mighty power. Put on the armor of God so that you may be able to stand firm against the tactics of the devil. For our struggle is not with flesh and blood, but with the principalities, with the powers, with the world rulers of this present darkness, with the evil spirits in the heavens. Therefore, put on the armor of God that you may be able to resist on the evil day and having done everything to hold your ground. So stand fast with your loins girded in truth, clothed with righteousness as a breastplate and your feet shod in readiness for the gospel of peace. In all circumstances, hold faith as a shield to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. With all prayer and supplication, pray at every opportunity in the Spirit. To that end, be watchful with all perseverance and supplication for all the Holy Ones and also me. That speech may be given to me to open my mouth, to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains, so that I may have the courage to speak as I must. The word of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for battle, my fingers for war. Blessed, Blessed be the Lord, my rock. My mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield in whom I trust, who subdues my people under me. Blessed, Blessed be the Lord, my rock. O God, I will sing a new song to you. With a ten-stringed lyre, I will chant your praise. You will give victory to kings and deliver David, your servant, from the evil sword. Blessed, Blessed be the Lord, my rock. My brothers and sisters, may our Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel. According to St. Luke. Some Pharisees came to Jesus and said, Go away, leave this area, because Herod wants to kill you. He replied, You go and tell that fox. Behold, I cast out demons, and I perform healings today and tomorrow, and on the third day I accomplish my purpose. Yet I must continue on my way today, tomorrow, and the following day. For it is impossible that prophets should die outside of Jerusalem. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, you who kill the prophets and stone those sent to you. How many times I have yearned to gather your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings. But you are unwilling. Behold, your house will be abandoned. But I tell you, you will not see me until the time comes when you say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And so we continue in the book of Ephesians. And here it says, get your strength from God. Not from the world, not from your body, not from you took a psychological class. Get your strength from God. So the first thing we got to think about is, do I lean on Jesus for my strength? Because he talks about what we fight against are these spirits and these principalities and all this stuff. Now, the last thing I want us to do is to be focused on the devil. Tell him to go to hell. It's no, just no worries about this. huh? Why? Because it talks about in the gospel that Jesus cast out demons. Now, where is Jesus? Inside of us. So if Jesus is inside of us, we don't have to worry about the devil constantly. We let him take over because we get our strength from God. But if we're not focused on Jesus, like I was in South Carolina this week, fantastic group, but there were some people there just focused on the devil. And I says, you waste way too much time focused on the evil one when you should be focused all your time on Jesus Christ. And so, when we fight against the principalities in that, we need to get out of the way 
and lean on Jesus and say, Jesus, can you deal with him for me? And he will. Nature knows love today and forever. Amen.